Uh, so this is the whole package. Uh, I believe all discipleship manuals are talking about this component, this personal interaction, and if you boil all of them down, there are about seven broad areas that should be trained until they're part of our life, but the goal of all of it is to be useful to the Lord. And you can't be useful if you're not saved. You can't be useful if you're starving to death. You can't be useful if you're not in step with the Spirit. You can't be useful if you're not getting that renewed. You can't be useful if you don't keep your cord connected by prayer. You can't be useful eternally if you're not storing up treasures in heaven. And we're always a target. Uh, it, it's so important to understand spiritual warfare. Okay, let me just give you a quick example. Um, I, I talk so much about these. Let, whoop, back up. This is the one I want to go to. Let me just, for four minutes, show you what a, a personal face-to-face -face meeting would be. We're talking about being spirit-filled. We did this about six weeks ago. And I said, we're supposed to be not drunk with wine in which is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. How do you know if you're full of the Spirit? In a in a face-to-face, -face, personal, small group setting, you go through what God says are the ways you can tell if you're full of the Spirit. It's, it's the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is described in the Bible as nine life-altering changes that the Spirit of God brings. In other words, if my life is surrendered to him, he changes me. That's how I know I'm full of the Spirit. So how does he change me? Well, you would sit and talk about love, and love is sacrifice, self-sacrifice. And you'd say, hey, that's what you do in a small group. Are you sacrificing your ways to follow God's way? Can others trace your progress in expressing God's love? Are you, are you a loving? Remember, we're supposed to love our enemies. That's a self-sacrifice for our enemies. And then you go through joy. We did this weeks ago. We went through every one of these. Um, spent a whole service going through them, by the way. Do those that know me and watch my life see evidence through my daily life at work and school that I'm a joyful person? Joy is, is produced by the Holy Spirit. It's not just happiness. It's an internal detachment from my circumstances so that I'm like this. Joy means I'm like this when my life is like this. And after you talk about that, you talk about peace. It's an internal serenity. It's not just that I'm like this, like this. It's I'm like this, and I'm saying my life is not under my own control. I've been bought at a price, and therefore I have peace through changes and upsets and unexpected twists and struggles and challenges, and people see a growing peacefulness. That it, and they say, wow, how are you like that? You say, it's not me. Boy, if I was running things, I'd be going crazy. You know, it's the Lord. And great peace, great peace have they which love thy law. And nothing, 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 because God keeps us in perfect peace because our minds are stayed on him. And uh, the great peace that love thy law is uh, in Psalm 119. But we would cover all those in a small group setting, and we would cover patience, uh, long-suffering. Am I a more patient person, and do people see that? And kindness. Kindness is the absence of, a, of an abrasive manner in my dealings with people. Do people say, when they come out of a meeting with you, and, and they say, wow, you're, every time I'm around you, you're more increasingly kind with people. Is that what everybody comes to your, your small group or your work meeting or your team meeting or your manager's meeting say about you? That you just are getting kinder and kinder? That's a byproduct of the Holy Spirit. And any part of my life that's not growing in peace and joy and kindness, I haven't surrendered. And that's what face-to-face -face is about. People openly say, ah, that's not happening. And the Together, they say, well, let's pray about that. Oh, how could you surrender more of your life to be kind or to be good? This is being godlike. Goodness is acting like God. Uh, faithfulness strides toward reliability, dependability. Uh, my life is less out of control and more under God's control. Is that what unsaved people watching you say, wow, you're, you're, 
you're increasingly faithful. I mean, you used to always be late last year, and you're only late half the time this year. What's happened? You say, the Lord's changing me. See, we're supposed to be morphing to be more Christ-like. And gentleness, uh, that's an absence of abrasiveness in my talking with people, and then self-control. Uh, do others think of me as graciously under the control of God's Spirit? And so this is the entire orb, and I tell you once more, it all starts with salvation, and life is totally predicated on knowing what Christ did on the cross for me. All of this I talked about this morning is totally because of Jesus Christ taking my place and giving me a new operating system. I read about that operating system in the Word. I understand that operating system through yielding to the Spirit. I keep that going by renewing that in consecration. I am empowered and communing by my cord connecting me through prayer to heaven. That makes me want to redeem time for the Lord and I'm always warily watching out because I have an enemy that wants me to not be useful to God. He doesn't want to throw me off the cliff. He just wants me to just get out of the lane. Remember Paul said, I don't want to get out of my lane and get disqualified. He was talking about a race, and there's this lane that you're supposed to stay in in the foot races or the chariot races. You were supposed to stay where you were supposed to be. And he said, I don't want to get out and become disqualified from being rewarded with my life. All the devil wants to do is get us out of our lane a little bit. And, and if we're not full of spirit, we don't hear the spirit saying, no, 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 no. And if we're not full of the word, we don't know that what the lane even looks like. All of these discipleship elements or habits are so connected, but they flow from salvation.